students in, uh, in the last period we were studying about the acid bases and salts and in the acid bases and salts we have seen the various salts for example NaCl NaCl is a sodium chloride and it is a salt of strong acid and strong base salt of strong salt of strong acid and strong base And its aqueous solution, its aqueous solution, it is neutral. PH is equal to seven. So see how we have identified that it is a salt of strong acid and strong base. You know, strong acid, this salt is formed by the reaction of HCl. Any comes from any OH. So remember. When there is a Na in the salt, it is the salt of strong base. And when there is a Cl, it comes from HCl. And therefore, it is a salt of strong acid. And in the same way, we will say that NaCl, KCl, Na2SO4, K2SO4, K2SO4, K2SO4 all these are the salt of strong acid from this and its aqueous solution is neutral pH is equal to 7 so SO4 SO4 comes from H2SO4 and H2SO4 is a strong acid K2 K K comes from KOH KOH is a strong base so in this way we can identify then take out the salt for example, NH4Cl. NH4Cl. Now, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. So, this is an ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. And this salt is formed by the reaction of ammonium hydroxide and Cl stands for. Cl comes from HCl. So NH4 OH, NH4 OH plus HCl gives NH4 Cl. And therefore we can write um, ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. So it is a weak base. And HCl is a strong acid. And therefore it is a, we can say that it is a salt of strong acid. Strong acid and strong acid and nucleus. Now, as it is a sort of strong acid, its aqueous solution, its aqueous solution, its aqueous solution is acidic. Is acidic and clear. Less than seven. Less than seven. So it is a salt of strong acid and weak base, ammonium chloride. So in this way you can take the different salts. That is, for example, NH4 by 2SO4. NH4 by 2SO4. Again the same. Again the same. It is a salt of strong acid and weak base and its aqueous solution is acidic. Then you can take CaSO4. So CaSO4 calcium sulfate. CuSO4. So salt of strong acid and strong base. Salt of strong acid and weak base. And its aqueous solution will be acidic in nature and pH level. So in this way CF so you can take the different examples of these salts. Then, there are so many examples.
number. For example, NaO3. NaO3. Sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. It is a solid of strong acid and strong base. Solid of strong acid and strong base. pH is equal to zero. Neutral. And no effect on the liquid paper because solution is neutral. Then you can take KNO3, potassium nitrate, potassium nitrate is equal to neutral. Then you can take the again aluminium chloride. Again, aluminium chloride, AlCl3, salt of salt of strong acid and weak base. Salt of strong acid and weak base. Now, being salt of strong acid and weak base, aluminium hydroxide is weak base. Cl comes from HCl and in this way, pH will be less than 7 solution acid solution acid then another example zinc sulfate, copper sulfate etc. so zinc sulfate we have taken example of zinc sulfate then copper sulfate so zinc sulfate, copper sulfate etc. now it is a sort of strong acid and big base. Sort of strong acid and big base. Here, less than silver. And here, less than silver. And solution will be big acid. Then, sodium acetate, sodium carbonate. So, sodium acetate, sodium carbonate. Sodium acetate, CH3, COONA, then sodium, then you can take sodium benzoate, C6, COO, C6, H5, COONA, sodium benzoate, and sodium benzoate, again, see, this is sodium acetate or sodium ethanol. Sodium acetate and sodium benzoate. Here, see, it is a salt of strong base and weak acid. It is a salt of strong base and weak acid. And therefore, weak any comes from any oil. And you know, all organic acids are weak acids. And therefore, salt of, we can write salt of. Strong base and weak acid. Sort of strong base and weak acid. pH, pH will be of strong base. So pH will be greater than 7 solution basic. Solution basic. Then sodium benzoate same. Benzoic acid is a weak acid. All organic acids are weak acid. So, sort of strong base and weak acid pH is equal to greater than 7 and solution basic. Solution basic. So, again, sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium carbonate, NH2CO3. So this is sodium carbonate or washing soda and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So sodium hydrogen. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now sodium carbonate again is aqueous solution. Aqueous solution. 
can write everywhere. I clear solutions. So you can write salt down. Salt down. Strong base. And weak base. Salt down strong base and weak base. Strong base means pH will be basic. And solution nature. Solution will be basic. Solution will be basic. So see, now sodium, hydrogen, carbon, salt of strongest and weak acid. Now weak acid, weak, weak acid. For example, here, see, NaOH plus H2CO3. H2CO3. Why is NaOH plus H2CO3 giving NaOH plus H2? Plus why is H2? So here we can also represent the reaction as Na2CO3 plus CO, Na2CO3. So sodium salt of strong base and weak acid and thus salt of strong base. The, for example, salt of strong base will produce the basic solution. Salt of strong acid will produce the acidic solution. pH will be greater than less than 7. And when the salt of strong base and strong acid is there, then solution will be neutral, pH is equal to 7. And then the salt of strong base and weak acid, so strong base and weak acid, as we have seen, that it is the, the exact base solution will be basic and pH will be greater than 7. And you know, acidic solution turns blue litmus paper red, and basic solution turns red litmus paper blue and in this way we can identify the nature of the given aqueous solution nature of the aqueous solution of the given salt so in this way and here salt of the strong base and this acid pH greater than 7 solution will be basic will be basic in nature. And the last salt that I tell you is the CH3COOHO. CH3C ammonia, ammonia acetate, ammonia acetate or Ammonium ethyl Ammonium ethyl Ammonium acetate, ammonium ethyl And see, salt of. Now this is salt of weak base and weak acid. Salt of weak acid. And we get pH is equal to 7 and solution will be neutral. Solution will be neutral. Now this solution will be neutral and this neutral nature of the solution depends on the dissociation constant of the weak acid or weak base. For example, dissociation constant of weak acid is greater than weak base. For example, if a dissociation constant of acid is greater than Kb, then solution, then the aqueous solution of such salt is acidic. See? 
in the process of neutralization. Strong acid is here, react with NOH to form NaCl plus H2O. NaCl plus H2O. So in this way, this sodium chloride which we are commonly using in, in our food and this has got very much importance in the freedom of our country. You know the advantage is dandy march and thus the sodium chloride is a great symbol in the uh, great symbol which is played in the uh, freedom of our country and Gandhiji started the Gandhi march and and similarly, you know, this sodium chloride or common salt or sodium chloride, common salt, namak, butter salt, table salt, etc. This is obtained from the sea water. This sea water contains near about 2.7% of the sodium chloride. Sea water contains. 2.7 percent of the sodium chloride and along with the other salt, for example magnesium chloride is also present in the sea water, other salts are present but sodium percentage of the sodium chloride is going to be 2.7 and thus by the evaporation of the sea water we obtain, the water get evaporated and we get the sodium chloride. And this sodium chloride which is obtained from the sea water is then purified. Is then purified. Similarly, the sea water... Now the, again the deposits of these salts are found in several parts of the world. And similarly, you know, the, these deposits, they are also obtained just like the coal mine. Just like the coal mine, we obtain the sodium chloride from mines. Again, the, the, this soil is also formed during the, in the bygone ages when the seas are dry up. When the seas dry up, we are getting the, you can say, um, this one and some um, large deposits of the brown soil. The brown color of the common soil is due to the presence of impurity, and thus we can say we can obtain the sodium chloride. And this sodium chloride or common soil has got numerous applications. It is used in the preparation of sodium hydroxide, in the preparation of sodium carbonate in the preparation of sodium bicarbonate and the chlorine obtained while, while preparing the sodium hydroxide is used in preparing the bleaching powder is used in preparing the bleaching powder so sodium chloride is an important chemical compound and by using the sodium chloride as a starting material, sodium chloride as a starting material, that means by using the sodium chloride we can prepare sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, you know, solid sodium hydroxide is called caustic soda. Then solid Na2CO3 is called washing soda. Then NaCO3 is called baking soda. So in this way, the sodium chloride has got a very much importance in our food as well as in the laboratory for making the different compounds, for making the different compounds. So we will study, we will put the common salt, a raw material. So common salt is the raw material. And for the preparation of what? Common salt is the raw material for the preparation of sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, that is baking soda, washing soda, sodium hydroxide, then chlorine, which is obtained while preparing the sodium hydroxide, is used for preparing the bleaching powder. So, in this way, we can obtain the number of chemical compounds 
by using sodium chloride as a raw material. Now the first we will study the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide is generally obtained. So see, sodium hydroxide is generally obtained by passing the electricity through the aqueous solution of through the aqueous solution of sodium chloride. So electricity. So go to write the current equation like this. Twice in is here, I got plus twice H2O liquid giving electricity is giving twice in a OH. So here we write twice in a OH. I got twice in a OH. I got then H2O gas and cathode plus Cl2 gas. And anode. So this is gas and anode. So twice N O is plus H2 plus Cl2. Now sodium hydroxide is obtained near cathode. So it is obtained near cathode. So this process is called chlorine alkali process. Chlor alkali process. Why it is called chlor alkali process? Because chlor stands for chlorine and alkali is formed anyway. Therefore it is called chlor alkali process. So aqueous solution of sodium chloride is taken which is called brine. Now see when the river water meets the sea water at that boundary it is called it is, there is a brine. Brine means the when NaCl is present in the water and this brine is subjected to uh, subjected to electrolysis by passing the electric current and by passing the electric current we get sodium hydroxide near cathode and sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas plus chlorine gas. So chlorine is obtained at anode, hydrogen is obtained at cathode and these products sodium hydroxide, hydrogen and chlorine are having very much important having very much important because these products are highly useful for example we can say that hydrogen hydrogen is used in a box as a fuel for burning purposes and hydrogen too having very high calorific value and thus you can say hydrogen is used as a fuel Hydrogen is used for the manufacture of ammonia. Ammonia is used for the manufacture of fertilizers. So, I don't know. Then about chlorine. About chlorine. Now, you know chlorine is used in swimming pool. That is swimming pool contains chlorine in order to kill the germs present in the water. So, as we, so as to kill the germs present in water. Then, chlorine is used for making PVC. 